related to the recent signing of a defense materiel Kupershchen Mo between the Philippines and Sweden, the Philippine Air Force led by its current commanding general LT Gen Steven Pereño visited Sweden recently, specifically to visit Saab's facility including looking at their products, and engagement with the Swedish Air Force. The photos show the team looking at the Saab JAS-39D Gripen which is the current frontrunner for the PAF's multirole fighter acquisition project, as well as the Saab Arii Airborne Early Warning and Control AEW &C, system which is being considered for the PAF's upcoming AEW &C aircraft acquisition project as part of Horizon 3 phase of the RAF PMP. There is a strong possibility for Saab to win the first phase of the MRF acquisition project due to budget considerations. The DND has only increased the budget for MRF acquisition by a few billion pesos which is still not enough to afford the more capable F-16 Block 70 70 seconds Viper. Saab offered to sell 14 JAS-39CD Gripen fighters to the PAF with the budget they have, plus an unspecified number of air-to-air -air missiles including Iris T short range and Meteor beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles, an unspecified type of air-to-ground munitions including standoff missiles. What worries us is the lack of commitment for a longer logistics support for the aircraft which is reflected by its low purchase cost. It will depend on Sweden on how good they can assist in supporting the Gripens once operated by the Philippine Air Force. So far, the JAS-39 Gripen even in its CD variant is said to be more capable than most traditional Chinese or Russian fighters, including against the Suhoi Su-27 and Su-30 flanker family. The sale of the Gripens may not be the last for the PAF's 